Welcome back to uh, Got Wire. I'm Adam, and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between Cat 5e and Cat 6a, and what speeds they'll theoretically do. And I'm going to do some testing here at my house. I have a wire length that's ran about, I don't know, 100 foot, and I have two jacks one with Cat 5e on it, and one with Cat 6a on it. And I'm going to hook them up to my 10 gig switch and run some speed tests and compare the two to see how fast the speeds I get, if there's any difference between the Cat 5e and and cat 6a and here's what the two cables look like cat 6a is noticeably thicker it's chunkier it's harder to work with and also it's shielded this is a blue piece of foil that was over top of all these wires and then the center here it has a plastic divider and these wires i believe are like one wire gauge thicker than cat 5e and cat 5e all it has here is just the individual pairs so there's no shielding and there's no divider i think this divider just helps reduce crosstalk if i'm wrong correct me in the comments but there is a myth that goes around that cat 5e cannot do 10 gig technically it can it'll do 10 gig up to 55 meters which is 180 foot so my run in my case is about 100 foot so technically this should do 10 gig it should work the same as this cat 6a now cat 6a in theory, if you look up the spec, it'll do 10 gig up to 100 meters or 328 foot. But there's a lot of variables that come into play if you're running it next to power, you know, interference, radio interference. That's why Cat 6A has more shielding to help reduce interference. And cross dot and then also with Cat 6A, you normally want to use different keystones for your jacks. This right here is a Cat 6A Keystone. It's a little bit more chunkier and sturdier and they also cost more. So if you're running Cat 6A, you can, I believe, use a regular Keystone. It's just harder to get this thicker wire in it. If you use the jacks that are made for it, it works a little bit better. It's easier to terminate it. And also too, if you're trying to put a ethernet end on Cat 6A, good luck, because it's a pain in the butt. Um, Cat 5E is way easier to work with. So here in a minute, I'll swap to my computer and first we'll try the Cat 5e. We'll just run a speed test on the Cat 5e plugged into my 10 gig port on my switch. And then we'll plug it into the Cat 6a plugged into the same port and see if we get any speed differences. There's gonna be some variables here, but this is as close as I can think to get it. This is a Cat 5e patch cable. Port eight up here on patch panel one is the Cat 5e jack. I'm gonna run this patch cable from here down to my 10 gig port on my Netgear switch. And then when I do the cat 6a port i'm gonna go from here to my 10 gig port with this cat 6a cable that i made so that is the same cable that's in the wall so we'll go ahead and get this cat 5e cable plugged up all right we got the activity light up there on the top right i know that's kind of overkill that long a cable but it just adds extra footage. So now we have a 10 gig connection from our 10 gig port to upstairs. And we'll go upstairs and run some speed tests on this Cat 5e. All right, well, I got my computer hooked up here to the Cat 5e jack, and I do have a 10 gig card in this PC. As you can see here, I'm linked up at 10 gigs. So first thing I'm gonna do is run an internet speed test from my ISP. I pay for two gig down and two gig up from AT&T. Sometimes it fluctuates, the upload speed isn't very very close to two gig it's a gig if that but the download speed is pretty close and the upload speed's doing a little bit better tonight. It's pretty close to 2 gig, but that's what I get from my ISP, and that's pretty quick over Cat 5e, and this is about a 150 foot run. And then open speed test here. This is to my server, 10 gig link on my server, and 10 gig card in the PC here. And this is about average what I get on my server. I don't know if it's a card issue or a CPU issue, but it's about average what I get with my other PC. Almost 4 gig down and 2 gig up. So I have a iperf test that I'm going to run to my Unraid box here. And that's what I just tested to was my Unraid box. Uh, open speed test is right here. And then I have a Docker container for iperf3. So I'm going to open this up here. And I already ran one, but I'm going to go ahead and run another. And I'm doing a dash 4. So 4 spatial streams, I think is what that stands for. And I'm getting about 6 point whatever gigabit per second. 6.2 gigabit per second from my computer here to my server down there so we'll go ahead and run it again just for consistency and then we'll compare it to the cat 6a iperf test 
So we got 6.28 gigabit per second on that test. And then on the other one, we got 6.1. So fairly close. So if we see the same speeds or faster, so I'd say if we see considerably faster speeds with Cat 6A, it'd be worth changing it out in my opinion, but it mainly depends on the distance that you're running it. And at my shorter distance, about 100 foot, 150 foot, it's gonna be probably about the same. But let me switch over to the Cat 6A cable and we'll test that out. So we're gonna get rid of this Cat 5E cable here and plug in this Cat 6A cable here. This is probably about 20 foot. So I'll go ahead and plug this in to the patch panel here and then take the other end and plug it into our switch. Now we're gonna go upstairs and run some speed tests and compare the two. So we'll take our cable here leading up to our PC from the Cat 5 e and plug it into the Cat 6A. All right, as you can see here, the connection is still connected at 10 gigabits per second for my ethernet port on my PC here. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. We'll run another speed test here from my ISP. And it looks like we're getting a little over two gig on the download. And like I said, with AT&T, the upload can be flaky. So in this case, the upload's slower, but their upload fluctuates a lot. So now we'll go ahead and run a open speed test again to my server. So comparing this one here is the Cat 6A here on the left and I got about a little over three gig on the download and two gig on the upload. And it's actually a little bit faster with the Cat 5e on the download. I got about a hundred megs uh, more with the Cat 5e. And you know, that's marginal error, basically the same. If you know you break it down into science terms, that's basically the same result. So now we'll go ahead and do a iperf test to the same PC, my Unraid box here running iperf. And this is like 0.1 faster than the Cat 5e because the Cat 5e, I think the fastest we got was like 6.2 gigabit per second. So we'll go ahead and run it again here and see if we get anything faster. So in this case, it's a little bit slower, 5.99 gigabit per second. This is basically the same result as Cat 5e. I had one test that was faster, one test that was a little bit slower, but they're basically the same thing. So in conclusion, was it worth it to run Cat 6a to my other computer? In my opinion, no, because I got roughly the same speeds with Cat 5e versus Cat 6a at my length of wire. Like I said, I probably only have about 100 foot of wire and Cat 5e will do 10 gig up to 180 foot a wire. And that's a common misconception. People on the internet say, oh, Cat 5e won't do 10 gig. Yes, Cat 5e will do 10 gig up to a certain footage. In this case, it's 180 feet, 55 meters if you live across the pond. So if you have a small house like me, mine's only about 1200 square foot, including my garage, you can get away with just running your Cat 5e that was probably ran when your house was built. That way you don't have to go drilling holes everywhere and you can just use what's already in the wall. But if you want to be over the top and extra like me, go ahead and run some Cat 6a. That way you can say you got Cat 6a in your house if you're a nerd like me. But I appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and run some Cat 6a down to your like button and smash it while you're down there. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and run some Cat 6a cable to the subscribe button and smash it too. I'd really appreciate it. I'm like a 120 subscribers away from a thousand and at a thousand we're gonna be doing a giveaway for this trend networks poe pro tester i'll be doing a dedicated video about how it works and what it does and how you guys can enter in to win this but i really appreciate all you guys that watch the videos i have a discord link down in the description so if you want to share any of your home lab stuff or anything that you guys have done go ahead and share it in my discord and i also have a partner program you can pay a small fee and get extras like behind the scene footage and access to my videos before they're uploaded. So if that interests you, go ahead and check that out down in the description. And I'll have links to all the supplies that I use down in the description, Amazon affiliate links. So if you wanna buy some Cat 6A or some Cat 6A keystones, go ahead and check out those links down below. I don't get any more money for you guys using them. It just helps out the channel. I get a small little kickback for you guys using those links. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.